Please help me apply that to my day to day. I love my career. It brings me tons of joy, and the challenge of it makes it fun. I, 11 hours of the day go by in a heartbeat, and I'm totally in alignment with that. But the people in my office that I want to beat, the people in my office I want to become, <laughs> the people. The people in my office that have the kind of lives that I imagine myself living work 13 hour days. And that 12th and 13 hour are a real challenge for me because I know that. But you see, you're making it about the hours that you spend, and we're making it about the alignment that you find. And that's a whole different world that you then step into as you are examining the contents of the story that we were telling about Jerry that's and exactly Esther. Why. As you are examining those contents, you can't make the decision that would be best for them because you don't have the experience of the relativity between what their vortex is and how it's calling them and where they stand in relationship to it. When we say alignment trumps everything, you could work two hours a day and surpass all of them. If it was two hours of pure alignment, you could work one hour a day and surpass them. If it was one hour of pure alignment, you see, it's not the time that they're spending. It's the alignment that you're finding in the time that you are spending. I feel the truth of that. So please help me understand if I have worked 11 hours and my gut instinct, my intuition, my source says it would be really fun to leave. Well, you see, if you were in alignment for that 11 hours, and this is the reason that this conversation matters about what Jerry and Esther were doing to you. If you were in alignment during that time, maybe you would work straight through in that time. And maybe you would work an hour and then do something else. But you can't know that unless you're in the moment in alignment. You've got to get the relativity out into the forefront between what your vortex is and what you're doing in the moment. And it's sort of one of those things, you know, when you say you had to be there, well, this is one of these conversations. You can't really understand what pure alignment and pure flow is unless you're in the moment of allowing it. And when you're not in the moment of allowing it and trying to examine it or understand it, it's more difficult to get your thoughts around it because it's not happening. Okay. That's why we want it to be an unconditional experience. That's why we want you to go for the emotion of it rather than for the condition of it. So as you're describing this to us, this results that you want yes. and the conditions that you have observed and come to an evaluation of that it requires, you're putting a condition on it where these people are willing to put the condition of 13 hours of endeavor and you're only really wanting to put the condition of 11 hours of endeavor and we want to take the condition out of it all together and talk about the emotional accomplishment so let's just set aside how long it takes and let's just for a moment set aside what you'd even be doing in that time that you would be taking and let's just talk about what you're reaching for emotionally what is it that you're translating into an emotion what do you think those conditions are going to translate into emotionally and let's not ask those conditions to do it let's just take it from the vibration and do it filthy filthy riches <laughs> so there's discord in that why no there isn't no what that's wonderful then why is it filthy because it's awesome why is it filthy? There's a vibrational root there. Why is it filthy? Because there is disdain from others. Yes, yeah, you're exactly right. And so you have included the disdain from others in and, your and goal. Absorbed it and loving it and okay with it. <laughs> well, maybe not. But so let's path of least resistance it a little bit. So you're reaching for the vibration of now that filthy richiness or whatever or whatever description you want to put upon it is still a condition it's a condition we're reaching for an emotion what's the emotion of that condition because you're still giving us conditions and we understand it but what's the emotion that you're reaching for from that condition of being filthy rich what's the emotion what's the emotion that you've translated vibration into very very capable i can do anything i'm success so invincibility yes alignment yes clarity yes satisfaction cool. satisfaction is a really good emotion to focus on satisfaction freedom freedom not exactly an emotion but it certainly is a state of being that you can feel freedom freedom so feel the cross current freedom is freedom to flow freedom to feel 
freedom to know freedom to receive freedom to be in the receptive mode because you see that's all we're wanting to help you accomplish we want to help you to get into the receptive mode so that you can translate that vibration into manifestations into manifestations of feeling in manifestations of invincibility into manifestations of worthiness in manifestations of alignment in manifestations of clarity and into manifestations of stuff and experiences and wealth all of that manifestations but if you're going for these manifestations before you've consistently accomplished the manifestation of the emotion now you're conditional in it and the condition is shooting you in the foot and you don't even know it because you're calling rich filthy and don't even realize it you see what we're getting at cool. there's all sort of baggage in the condition like comparison of how hard I work and how hard somebody else works and whether I beat them and whether I don't throwing unnecessary resistance onto your trail when really all you ever have to do is tell your inner being what you want you've already done that it's in the vortex it's all lined up there's a vibrational reality that you're trying to translate into things you can feel that freedom you can feel that invincibility you can feel that clarity you can feel that alignment you can feel it regardless of how many hours you're working condition how many other people are there condition how much money you're making today condition you can have all of this emotional manifestation now unconditionally you can accomplish this emotional manifestation now and when you do it and when you do it and when you do it until you own it and then you own it and then you own it and then you own it before you know it not that long you have removed all of the resistance that you've been putting on your trail from your trail and now your path is so vivid and clear that every step you take is in the direction of the things that you want you don't want to just get to that place of having all of that money you think you do you want to get to that place of knowing what that feels like to be unbound by anything and the only way you will ever feel unbound by anything is by being in a place of non-resistance because it's only resistance that binds you and every condition it doesn't matter what it is has stuff in it that binds you up there isn't anything that anybody wants whether it's a material object a state of being a pile of money a relationship a circumstance an event there is nothing that anybody wants that is for any other reason that they believe they will feel better in the having of it but it's still conditional give me these things give me this circumstance give me this event give me this relationship give me this pile of money give me this and then I'll feel better and we say oh yeah you're gonna feel better yes you are but it's so inconsistent it's up and down and you are giving yourself over to others who are holding the keys to it you want the freedom you want your direct path to it find the vibration first say to yourself oh I might be becoming filthy rich but what I'm really doing is becoming filthy happy <laughs> what I'm really discovering is clarity what I'm really showing myself is that I have the ability to choose the thought of lesser and lesser and lesser resistance until I'm in the place where my inner being is and you know your inner being knows where you stand physically in relationship to everything that you've created vibrationally did we tell you that we didn't tell you that today many of you know it already you cannot circumvent this process this evolution of vibration into manifestation everything that you see and the evolution of all species is about that first there is the experience that causes you to launch the rocket of desire and then there is the becoming of the desire it's becoming more and more and more and the question is are you going to get in the receiving mode of the very desire that you have created and the answer for most people is not anytime soon but the answer for deliberate creators is yeah I can feel when I'm in the vibrational proximity of it I can feel when I'm in the vibrational proximity of it so I keep choosing the thought that feels better so path of least resistance I have to work harder than I really want to to get what I want that's not a path of least resistance that's a path of more resistance thought these people that are winning are doing better than I am because they are working longer hours you can tell by the way that feels that is contrary to what you know thought translation of vibration into thought a thought that you may receive and catch a whiff of I can be or do or have anything really general but it takes hard work off the path I can be or do or have anything I'm finding my way vibrationally on the path but I have to work 13 hours instead of 11 or after work 11 instead of 10 or 9 or 8 or 7 or 6 conditional off the path I am an extension of source energy on the path law of attraction is managing this universe on the path law of attraction is reading my vibration and answering it on the path 
law of attraction is reading my vibration and I am the receiver of the vibration that I am accomplishing on the path I have the ability to feel prosperous even before the money rolls in on the path I can find the vibrational reality of it I can find the vibrational key of it I can experience vibrational prosperity I can find the vibration of prosperity before the condition of it ever shows itself to me on the path I have the ability to feel good regardless of the condition on the path I need that condition to be better so I can feel better off the path and after you play with this a little while you begin to feel your invincibility and once you are consistently feeling that empowerment what happens is those ideas that keep coming those ideas that you are receiving you see they're always being transmitted to you but if you're looking at a condition that hasn't been accomplished yet then you've got resistance that is keeping you from interpreting the vibration in a clear way if you have taken the condition that is absent right now out of the equation then you're not throwing resistance on the trail and you have a better probability of having a pure vibration and in that pure vibration an idea comes to you oh even better than an idea timing comes to you so that you're accomplishing in shorter and shorter time what others are taking longer and longer to do now you look at how long it's taking the others you've left your path you're trying to convey to them what you're doing they don't understand it you've left your path you're trying to justify not being there such long hours you've left your path in other words you can just feel haven't you had those conversations where you're sure about something and somebody wants you to explain to them why you are so darn sure and you know that they're not going to get it you know that there are not enough words now or maybe ever for them to understand it and can't you feel the futility and you know why you're having that feeling is because you've left your path you are throwing stuff on your trail you are throwing resistance onto your path and you are preventing yourself from the clarity that would be there and that is there when you don't do that you see so after a little while what begins to happen is your quest becomes the emotional thing you begin to understand that all you have to do oh all you have to do all you really want to do all you need to do all that is required in order to be or do or have anything that you want is to find the emotional essence of it and practice it until you own it even before the conditions support it and if you're able to do that then you're offering the vibration consistently enough that you're in the receiving mode consistently enough and now ideas are flowing and people are watching and they'll say man are you ever in the zone or oh things are really working out for you and you say I know I found my groove well how'd you do it I quit worrying about what you think and I quit worrying about what everybody thinks I quit needing to justify anything to everybody I let my goal be the way I feel and I showed myself that I could find it easily I care about how I feel oh you mean you want to be playful and you want to be happy I mean I want clarity I want satisfaction I want to feel good I want to feel the wholeness of who I am I won't settle for anything less I will no longer fritter away my alignment to the energy that creates worlds in order to jump through somebody else's hoops I will no longer fritter away the energy that creates worlds that is the life force of who I am in order to explain to somebody who's never gonna get it no matter how many words I offer them I'm done justifying I'm done explaining I'm done jumping through hoops I get this I know that there is a vibration I know that I've carved it out I know that much of it came with me I know that much of it has been created since I got here I know that there's a vortex I can feel it I can feel my relativity to it I can feel my relationship with it I can feel who I am I can feel when I'm on point I can feel when I'm on point I can feel when I'm off point and more and more I'm making those selfish choices I talk to the people who don't drag me off I talk to myself about thoughts that don't drag me off I selectively sift through my own past for thoughts that don't drag me off I deliberately look around my now for things that feel good to me I'm really good at this I'm really good at tuning my dial tuning right in to the vibrational essence of who I am and now those thoughts those vibrational realities that have been over in my vortex that have been culminating and becoming the law of attraction is made huge now I have access to them and now with so little effort and so little climbing and clawing and so little comparison I'm just able to tune in and get an idea and tune in and get a feeling about timing and tune in and do other people like it no do I care no could I explain it to them no they haven't been where I am they don't know who I am they weren't there as I built my vortex they don't know why this feels good to me and why this doesn't they don't know that I would rather more than life itself sit here and do this recording in a hot Prevo bus 
than anything else, any other choices that are around me in the moment. No one knows but me.